Hello everyone and um, welcome to my first ever beginners watercolour class. So obviously like it says, um, this one's going to be a class um, for wellness. Yeah. So I painted for me just to give you a little bit of like a sort of introduction to who I actually am and kind of why I've decided to do this. Um, so basically I'm a mum of two, always been an anxious person but um, I actually suffered a miscarriage in between my two. So Phoebe my eldest, she's four now and Arthur, he's my second, who's right here next to me eating some food, um, he's only just gone one. And um, yeah, I suffered a miscarriage in between them both, which was really upsetting, really horrible. And um, basically it just kind of set me on this really anxious, kind of vulnerable and kind of depressive sort of journey, I suppose. And um, I feel like I'm finally finding my way back, basically. So I thought I'd kind of like help other people that are going through the same thing. So um, yeah, just very, very anxious and stuff. And um, one thing I've learned through having like therapy and CBT therapy and stuff like that was to really sort of like get back to kind of like do my painting and kind of like, um, just sort of like having some time for me and painting like I said it just it just gives me such a stillness of the mind and it just sort of really like puts all my racing thoughts you know to the back of my mind so I'm not even thinking about it so I'm hoping that that's what I can kind of do for you guys as well and kind of show you how it helps me so basically what I'm doing at the moment I am just drawing out some leaves from my lovely little lily plant here so sometimes I use um, actual real things like my plant here as a sort of reference and I sometimes also just use like reference photos from like Google and places for like whatever I want to draw. So I'm just drawing a couple of little leaves here and then in a moment I'm going to like paint them and stuff as well and then what I'll do is I'll kind of draw them again for you and then we'll kind of paint them together and I'll do some close-up little shots and I'll do like all these different bits and bobs and stuff but I really really hope you guys kind of like have fun and just enjoy yourself kind of watching me. So I'm going to just carry on doing a few bits here. So I'm going to do this leaf again. Yeah, I just really find it's really helpful to um, draw out sort of like a um, sort of yeah. like an outline, I suppose. Yes, Arthur, <laughs> like an outline of um, sort of what I'm doing. So I'm just doing the beautiful leaves now on my little lily plant. So they do have the most lovely leaves, and they've got all the veins that show, and um, yeah, all the lovely little bits. So yeah, it's just really, really pretty. So like I said, I'll do like a little close up in a minute, so you can kind of see which ones I've decided to have a little go with. But um, yeah, so this is going to be week one though, so we're going to just sort of have a little look at kind of how to do leaves and things. I thought leaves would be a good one because they're actually like sort of fairly, fairly easy, I'd say, because they're all the same colour, usually, anyway. Um, so obviously we're going to go for sort of green. Yeah, my boy. Other things, it's funny that I'm talking. <laughs> and um, yeah, so like I said, they're all the same colour, which makes it really, really easy. So you don't have to um, kind of mix up colours, you don't have to sort of like think, what colour am I going to do them? You're just literally doing it as they are almost. Um, what's good as well is with watercolours you can really like build a layer and so we're going to do like a basic layer first of all um, and then let that dry which dries super super quickly and then we will um, yeah go back in and do a little bit more. We will on my other classes that I'm going to be doing uh, next week and the week after we'll go into a little bit more detail about sort of colour and um, all the different things that can kind of you know you can do with watercolours. I just love the medium of watercolour it's just so lovely. So I'm almost there. Yeah, I'm just drawing like a sort of second batch of of leaves. I'll show you my sort of setup. So obviously got my water, got my paints. Um, I would say with your watercolor paints, definitely get some that are not necessarily the most expensive sets, but basically one that is gonna be sort of like good quality. So I've got this one's like a Windsor Newton one, which I actually have for years, but I love this one. It's got quite a nice mix of colors. And again, this one's a movie, and this one, oh same, so Windsor Newton. But you can pick these up at like hobby craft and places, and they're relatively cheap. Again, um, brushes don't go for really, really, really cheap brushes like I quite like this one this is the um, Aqualiner one Aquafine sorry it doesn't want to close up and that's a dial around one and um, yes yeah, just really really good so I've just got a selection of sort of like different brush um, sizes and bits and bobs and stuff my trusty little old flannel as well again I have had this for years and this is just really good if you get a little bit too much water or a little bit too much paint on your brush before you put it onto your paper and then paper as well I've just got a sort of standard watercolour pad here um, again picked up from Hobbycraft so you can usually pick these up from most sort of hobby sort of shops and things and again don't go for really really cheap but you you don't have to really pay out loads um don't know if you can kind of really see my leaves that i've drawn there because i'm actually using a um really 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 fine um faber castell pencil never wants to focus in uh this one it's in a 6h and it's really really good it's just very very fine and it's just 
really good for sort of like not showing through too much I do sometimes if I use like a normal HB I'll um, just sort of like rub out um, the pencil before I actually go to paint and then it's just kind of on there but um yeah so this is the lovely plant though that I'm using as reference so I've got the lovely leaf here which is going to be the big leaf and look at all those beautiful veins so we're going to do sort of like similar lines and bits and bobs for that one oh no sure what well, that is in my hand <laughs> and then I've also chosen kind of maybe that leaf there and then this one so just for different kind of like styles uh, not styles sorry different shapes that sort of thing so yeah I really hope you enjoy today's class but that's what we're going to be kind of focusing on so just out of the shot I'm actually just um popping my paintbrush into the water and um, getting it sort of fairly wet and I'm just dipping it into one of my greens that I have in my palette and um, as I said before, if you do get quite a lot of it on your um, your brush, it's definitely a good idea just to use like either a paper towel or a little flannel, whatever you've got really, just to sort of like dab it up. But this is basically how much I've kind of got on here now. So it's never going to focus. But we're just going to go for this one here that hopefully you guys can see. So basically all I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to run... Um, my paintbrush along the middle just to sort of get the um, kind of almost like the vein of the leaf I like to sort of do this when I do leaves just to kind of um, sort of give it a bit of definition I suppose and so with this one it had a really um, strange end to it so it didn't go all the way to the leaf so it sort of ended there and so I'll just do that oh you can't even see my camera angles are really bad so hang on a moment see just there and <laughs> definitely going to need some more practice on this um what i'm going to do now which i'll actually show you i'm just going to mix up some of the green into um my little palette here um just because i want to kind of have a lot of the green to kind of work with and i'll probably use a bigger brush actually in a minute as well but while we're mixing it up i'm going to do it here but i'm also going to use the white and make it a slightly lighter green because the leaf itself was um quite light in places so we'll get this on here just keep adding water so you can totally tell I'm a newbie at this whole like filming like <laughs> classes for water colouring. But yeah, so we've got that in there. Right, yes, Arthur. So just wet my brush again. So I'm gonna go in with the white now. Just to get a little bit, like I said, lighter sort of green there. So it's quite a nice green actually. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this because you can always add more water. So don't be afraid of that. And um if you want it to be a bit more of a sort of like um darker deeper sort of like um paint sort of on whatever you're doing then you can just sort of kind of go straight from the palette like from here see that's a lot more of a darker green oh that's phoebe my eldest in the living room so i think i'm ready i'm just gonna dab it on my bit there just to take that away and then we're back to here sorry if it's shaky i'm gonna try and pop it down to hopefully film what i'm doing but i'm just gonna go beside it here and just gently run it across in long sort of strokes. I'm not going too close to the vein at the moment, just because I don't want them to bleed together the um, the two different bits that I've popped on. And there are so many different ways to do watercolour painting. So this is not the experts kind of, you know, tips and tricks here. This is just the way that I like to do it. Um, I know some people do like to put the water on the paint, uh, the paper, sorry, straight away before they actually start. I much prefer this way. I have occasionally, like, depending on what I'm drawing and stuff, I have um, put water onto the paper first. I prefer to sort of tend to do that if I'm doing like a landscape picture, I think. Like for stuff like this where it's in a bit more detail, I much prefer to have my brush where I can be a bit more finer with it. So I don't know if you can see because I'm not sure if you can see the... Um, pencil lines but I'm basically just following sort of where I drew just to kind of get the, the overall shape of the leaf going so I just checked on Arthur there he's gobbling up his food lovely bless him <laughs> yeah I definitely couldn't film this live I was considering filming this live but I knew I had to kind of pre-film it so we're just coming to the end now and um, on a lily leaf they tend to have like this sort of almost squared off end um, which hopefully you can see from the reference prints that I will put up in the group um, yeah, if you haven't joined it already, please join the group as well. I'd love you guys. All the um, links and kind of everything will be um, uh, listed below the video today. But um, yeah, please join the group and kind of share your um, your creations. I'd love to see them and I'd love to share them as well on my Instagram. Um, yeah, it would just be really nice to sort of have a little community of kind of everyone in my little art club. 
so see how they're not blending too much which is good so we've got sort of like like i said the the almost like base of the leaf there so obviously it, it kind of looks like a leaf but it's not quite there yet because we need to add a little bit more detail so i just painted the other two that i kind of i'm going to show you today and while they're drying i just thought i'd show you um another way you can do it because obviously like i first did there um you don't actually have to do sort of like the detail in the vein stuff first you can literally just paint like one le solid layer first so i've drawn the leaves out again so i'm just going to show you so again i've just got the sort of shape there with my pencil just as a guidance really so we're just going down here but like i said you can do the whole thing now and then once it's dry we can add in all the detail so with watercolour as well, what I find so lovely about it is it's just the repetitive motion of just sort of backwards and forwards with the, the paintbrush. It's just it's just lovely, basically. And it's just so relaxing. And don't be afraid to sort of like, you know, mess it up a little bit. It's basically just like the perfect sort of thing to just have fun with. Like art in general anyway is like, you know, it's each to their own and people love it, people hate it. But it's just your personal sort of like escape almost so i've got another little leaf that i've got just here so again instead of going in like i did on that first one and um doing the sort of veiny bit we're not we're just literally doing the whole leaf in the same color from the green that i mixed up into the palette before and um yeah it's just good to sort of stretch it out as you can see that i probably need a bit more water there so i'm just mixing it up with a bit more water <clears throat> So just add it in. So there are lots and lots and lots of different ways and different techniques that you can do watercolours. Hang on, my, my little Phoebe's calling me. Oh, brilliant! <clears throat> mum hustle, mum life, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, it's just, I just love watercolour painting. So, so lovely. So I really hope you guys can find it as well. So there we have it. I've got very noisy children in the background. Um, so they're all painted, just waiting to dry. So as I said, this is the sort of style that I sometimes do where I'll go in and just add a first little bit of detail. <gasps> My noisy boy! <laughs> um, and then these are kind of how I would just literally paint like a solid block to start off with. So once it's dry, we'll come back and we'll start adding in detail and we'll kind of have a little look on how we can kind of do that and talk to you a little bit about how to kind of use your brush almost and things like that. So I'm going to try super hard and keep a steady hand while we do it now. Um, so what I'm going to do now, so we're going in with some detail. So I'm wetting my brush again and I'm just going to use the paint directly from the actual um, solid kind of paint itself totally forgotten what this bit's actually called but this this paint thing here and um and then basically just going to make sure that my brush is wet enough because sometimes when you um go directly from here it can get a little bit dry and it can feel a little bit sticky and you definitely don't want that you want it to feel sort of smooth and stuff so we're going to go back in with this first one that we did and um i'm just going to add just in places like a little bit extra along the vein not all everywhere just kind of little bits and bobs and like I said don't be afraid if you go slightly wrong if your brush goes a little bit um, funny and you end up going sort of like blink and it's just gone a bit manky so it's totally totally fine so just from reference from the leaf above I'm just sort of having a little play around with the little veiny bits oh brilliant Arthur Arthur's back here he's just finished all his food and now he's back here so we're just gonna take it right to there so um most leaves like they you know you just want to get sort of like unless you're trying to do realism which is definitely what we're not trying to do here um it is just about sort of like getting an idea almost of a leaf so just going back in again to get a little bit more um just so i can start doing the sort of veiny little bits so just really gently use your brush. Um, it doesn't really matter if you do like have little accidents and you get little splodges here or there. Most of the time you can fix them. Or to be honest, sometimes like my my mistakes end up looking like the best part of the painting. So yeah, definitely don't be kind of afraid if you do mess it up and have to start again or like you know yeah that's just a bit you're not happy with. It's all about practice. Like um, I read an article once from a, an artist who'd been. Um, uh, teaching watercolour for over 17 years and she said that she's never ever not even now learn everything that she could possibly learn about the medium of watercolour so you know you newbies and me as like a sort of like amateur sort of like self-taught artist you know none of us are perfect we're all still just kind of like winging it just the same way we wing life basically and I think as well that that for me just really like 
that means art for me is just that's exactly why it's the perfect thing especially like while I've got my anxiety and all different bits and bobs and stuff oh see did a little spudge there but I'm gonna leave it it's totally fine <laughs> but yeah I'm really like um, liking how it's looking though so I'll show you in a minute the actual leaf um, what we'll do as well we'll just add a little bit of kind of shade and um, little blitz and blobs and things on there but yeah I just really like how it's looking so as I said it's all about having fun and um, for me when I sit down to paint I just kind of just have fun with it I don't really like obviously I've had a few commissions from people and stuff like that so you know I try to make those perfect but the majority of the time I am just you know having a bit of fun and kind of just seeing whether this will take me on this oh really Arthur so um so this is the leaf that we are using as our reference so just some of those lovely little kind of like sort of I suppose they're veins. I don't know if they're really called veins, but that's kind of what I've tried to recreate down there on my one. Which I think looks pretty good. Um, what I'm also going to do as well, there's a little brown bit on the edge of the leaf. Um, so I'm just going to add that in. So again, I'm just going to go straight from the actual paint here itself. And do I have a good brain? I think I'm going to use the brown over in this one. And again, just straight from there. Just kind of use the side here to just take off the excess. And then very, very lightly on here, because there's not much, I'm just going to sort of take it from here. I do apologise for my shakiness. And just kind of take it out. Just like that. And so it's just the kind of end of the leaf. I'm going to just add a bit of brown here as well. Just kind of feel like it. Just want to sort of get a bit of shading, I suppose, and stuff in there. But like I said, it's all just about having a bit of fun. You know, this leaf isn't going to be amazing. This isn't going to be perfect, but it's going to look okay. So <laughs> that's the way we're going to try and do it. So I'm also going to just, while we're there, I'm just going to use this brown for the end of this leaf. Because again, like lily plants, they tend to have um, browning on the, the edge of their leaves. Not sure why, but it's kind of just what happens. I'm also just going to take a bit there. Sometimes on the back of a, a lily, they're a little bit more... Um, sort of darker so I just felt like doing a bit of brown there but I will add some green on there in a moment so let me just grab the green again which I'm hilarious he's he's, um, he's been walking since he's 10 months and he's now like I said just over a year and he's learned how to climb that's his new thing this week so he is into everything but it is fine you know <laughs> So the back of the leaf is slightly different. There tends to be a few more sort of like deeper um, looks to the, the kind of veins. So hence these kind of sort of longer strokes. And also there doesn't seem to be as much of the um, kind of veins sort of showing there. So I'm just going to sort of darken the veiny bit there again as well. Just mixing it all in. So I do hope you guys are having fun and you're enjoying watching my um, little watercolour class. And um, yeah, I'll keep it up and um, you can kind of dip in as and when if you aren't able to watch it all today. That's totally fine. <clears throat> so I'm also just going to, with this one, just go round um, the edges a little bit just to give it a bit of definition, especially like here. There's a little bit that um, is almost like a sort of wave in the leaf. So just kind of give it a bit of shade and shadow, I suppose. Oh, really, Arthur? I've got very noisy children. <laughs> and then I'll just duck it into here as well. Right there. Oh, my camera angles are ridiculous. Right. Sorry, I get so totally in the zone that I forget to look what's happening. <laughs> but, but yeah, see, I'm, I'm really enjoying kind of painting here and it's just fun and um yeah like if you are an anxious person at all I would definitely recommend some sort of really calming hobby um like painting drawing like I love to doodle like um doodling is a big fun thing to do each night like sometimes painting it can feel like a bit of an effort which it isn't but it just feels like it is sometimes and I don't know if you guys can relate but like yeah just sometimes it just feels like it's quite a lot to sort of get your paint brushes out kind of do everything whereas like doodling you just literally need a pencil and a pad and you can just start like doodling anything you want you don't have to have any sort of rhyme or reason to it you can just literally like I said just kind of pick it up and just do whatever you want really and um yeah it's just 
a little bit of fun to be had. I'm just going to add a bit of green on there because there's always a bit of green on there. But I'm quite liking those two. So that's two, like I said, that I kind of already did. So let's go in and we'll do this one down here um, where we are going to add in all the detail afterwards. So instead of like these two, we kind of added a little bit in beforehand. We're going to add in afterwards. So let's get cracking on. Let me just move my pad up a little bit. Just getting a bit more water as well. So I'm so sorry about this shaky camera. I'm going to try, I think, and pop the camera actually down. So I'm hoping that I can um, kind of... Sorry, I'm like resting on something that isn't really working. Hey, there we go. Perfect, right? <laughs> so I have, like I said, I'm going to go in with a bit more water straight from the actual paint palette again. And we're going to go in and we are going to this little leaf that um, I chose. It's got a sort of like almost like a little cut, I suppose, on it. So I'm going to go in first of all and just do kind of the veiny bits and bobs. So we've got the sort of bit that's there. So again, most leaves have the veins running through the middle, if not all. So we're just going to kind of take it here and then, oh, did a little spot. See, <laughs> definitely not a pro here. Um, and then we've got like a little veiny bit there and here. So you're just sort of tucking it over there. There's nice little veins that sort of run like this almost. Like when I was little, leaves used to be the most funnest thing to draw and paint. Not sure why, but yeah, so very apt for doing this. But there you go. So that's kind of there. We're going to let that middle bit dry and I'm going to do a little bit around the edge now. If you wanted to, you could do a second um, full on base coat. Like if you weren't happy with the green that I've got down here and you wanted it a little darker, you could definitely go back in and do a second one, which I might do with another leaf in a minute just to kind of show you. Um, but you definitely don't need to. You can kind of like do it however you want, really. And so, like I said, I'm just going to sort of do a little bit of shading around here. Again, just similar to like what we did before just in the little sort of creases just to show the movement really of the leaf sorry if it's not very focused so we're just gonna add the little sort of cut I must have knocked the plant I'm thinking at one point so just here there's kind of like a little little mark so we're just gonna add that in just to give it a little bit of realism, I suppose. But um, yeah, I'm kind of liking how they're, they're turning out all the leaves. So, um, like I said, so we're gonna move, hopefully the camera over now to here. I think I'm gonna have to hold it. And um, like I said, this one, I will just literally go back in and do another layer on top of the green. So you can kind of see like how different it looks sort of doing from like one to sort of two. Um, all the way along doing those lovely soft like slow motions just like that and again like it doesn't have to be perfect we're just enjoying ourselves while we paint if you do have any questions um like after the video um because obviously it's not live so you can't ask me now but um yeah just do leave a comment below and i'll hopefully be able to answer for you um but yeah hopefully it will just be something fun for you to learn and enjoy so just come to the end again but yeah see it's just a bit of a darker green so as you can see like if you look at the one next to it so this one's um just kind of one layer and then we've got sort of two layers on there so yeah really really happy with that i'm gonna leave that to dry for the moment and then we'll be back and we'll add the details in but we're getting there hope you're enjoying the class today so everything is dry so we're going to go in and add all the detail in now so i'm just using the same green again and i'm going to just do a little bit of shading over this side here and then I'm going to do the veiny bit. So this way, where we've done the two um, layers of um, green on the actual leaf itself, like everything that you paint here is going to show up a little darker than before. So like I said, we'll just sort of run it through there. So if my camera angles are really crap again. So just adding a little bit more of 
the shaded area. Just to, like I said, give the leaf a little bit of movement. So, and then as before, I'm just going to add these little ones. Probably going to look slightly different to the leaf I did before, <laughs> but it's fine. I'm just adding some of the little bay bits like before. Just lift the camera up a bit so you can see a bit better. Just coming along. Really can't wait to see um, all of your um, kind of like creations as well from this little class of mine. So it is getting all dry, and on this one, I am just going to add in a few more little flecks for the little veiny parts. Just like this, I just feel like the leaf itself has a few more, so we're just going to add a few. With painting, like I said before, like it is just about doing your own thing with it and having fun. Like a lot of the time, I think, and I've, I've been, you know, guilty of this as well. I think you're trying to make everything so perfect all the time, and it really doesn't need to be. You just sort of have fun with it. Um, one thing I was going to say as well is um, for me, I um, do struggle sometimes to find the time, obviously being a mum as well to actually paint so it's something that you definitely have to kind of tell yourself and give yourself almost permission to kind of like be able to do so we're pretty much there with that i'm going to use the brown again this time and do the little bits on the edges and stuff but yeah we're pretty much there coming towards the end of the class now so like i said going to do a little bit of oh, brown on the end And just gonna add a little bit in here again. And then I'll show you in a minute like a little comparison of them both. There we go. So, so that's the the kind of two sort of like how they look different so we've obviously got the one we've just done there and the one we did before so it's up to you how you prefer to do it but that's kind of how we do it there So there we have it. All of the leaves are finished. So as you can see, none of them look alike. Um, but yeah, we've just sort of had fun and we've just kind of like um, gone through the basic steps of sort of like what um, I do when I paint leaves and stuff. But like I said, my main um, thing to focus on um, is not getting it exactly as it looks, as you can see just there. 
but just having fun with it and realizing that painting is just such a way to like relax yourself and just enjoy a moment of calm which we all definitely need especially in this very very strange strange world that we're living in at the moment but i really hope you enjoyed um today's class and as i said join the group please and please share your lovely creations as well i'd love to see them and if you've got any questions as well just um let me know in the comments below thank you bye